Hey, hey, JF here, coming back at you with another collection video. Wow. One after the other, I'm pretty proud of myself. I figured since I showed off my Nintendo Switch collection uh, in my last collection video, I thought it was only uh, appropriate to show off my NES collection as well. The NES was the first ever console that I had ever owned. I remember the day we actually got the NES. Uh, me, my brother, my mom we were going for a walk down the street and I was, I don't know, uh, six, seven years old. My brother was just a, a year older than me. We came across a garage sale where this woman was selling a, an NES complete in box. And me and my brother, we pled my, uh, my mom to buy it for us and she surprisingly did. My parents weren't really too keen on video games at the time, but anyways, we got it. We got a couple of games with it. I don't remember right offhand which games they were. I'm almost positive we had Mario 3 and Mario 2 and the first Mario actually, now that I think about it. That was a pretty awesome day and that was kind of like the beginning of the end for, <laughs> for us. Like last video, I guess I'll start with what I've been um, playing my NES on. So this is the Retron 2. It plays both uh, NES as well as SNES. And you just have to flick the switch to decide which console you're using. It's got a reset button, power button, eject button. And it, it's, it's pretty decent. I find with, um, I don't know if it's just mine, my Retron, but I find some NES games, it's really hard to remove the cartridge out of the, the port. Uh, but other than that, this is a pretty pretty solid uh, console to have. The controller that I've been using is the classic NES controller. Uh, this is the, the OG controller by Nintendo. The controller that came with the Retron, the NES controller that came with the Retron, uh, it shit the bed on me. The Hyperkin controllers, uh, I've had not great luck with them, unfortunately. I recommend, if you're going to get a Retron, I recommend getting uh, the first party controllers or maybe a, a better third party controller. And now for the games. So firstly we have 1942 and 1943. And we have Boy and His Blob. This game I uh, tried uh, playing not too long ago and it's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> We got Adventure Island. This was a game that I owned as a kid. Adventure Island 2. And then we have A Nightmare on Elm Street. This was one of the this is one of the games that has a hard time coming out of the uh, Retron port for whatever reason. And it's also one of the few games, one of the few NES games, I think, that plays up to four players. It's kind of cool. I played this with my brother uh, a while ago, and and we got stuck. It's a hard game. Batman the video game. Awesome, awesome color palette. Awesome game. Controllers are t the controls are tight. Bionic Commando. Hard to play a little bit at the beginning, but once you get used to uh, to you know using your arm to swing around and stuff, it's it's not so bad. Blades of Steel. Every Canadian has to have this game. Blaster Master. This is really fun. Um, I quite enjoyed playing this. You get to drive around in a, in a vehicle and then you get to leave your vehicle and play the game completely differently. You got Bomberman, very first Bomberman. I have not played this yet. Burger Time, Man Oh Man. This is a, another game that we used to own as kids. I think my copy might be a, a potato though because the it doesn't play very... It plays really weird. Uh, the controller, the controls aren't very responsive, and I'm thinking it has something to do with the game. I don't, I don't know. But it's a really fun game. I want to get there's a Switch version of this that I like to get. The first Castlevania. Got to have a Castle. If you have an NES, got to have Castlevania. Simon's Quest and Dracula's Curse. I don't really know. Why I'm showing you the back. The back is always the same thing. We have Cobra Triangle. I played a couple of hours of this. A couple of hours of this when I bought it and it's, it's a lot of fun. I want to get back into it. We got Contra, another game I had when I was kids. Me and my brother played a lot of this and I don't know if we knew about the Konami code when we used to play this as kids. I'll have to ask him. Hey Sly, are you watching my videos? Hi! Are you watching my videos? Are you watching my videos? Super C. 
We got Crystallis. I bought this. I tried to play it. I couldn't play it. The game wasn't working. I'm gonna have to clean it and see if it works. Demon Sword. We got Dig Dug. Dig Dug. We got Dodgeball. This is a game that was mentioned in a Metal Jesus video, I think with, uh, uh-oh, what, what's his name? John? <laughs> I think his name is John? The guy with the crazy hair. The tall guy that's just as tall as Metal Jesus with the crazy hair. He did a bunch of, uh, Nintendo uh, Hidden Gem videos with the uh, Metal Jesus. Anyways, this was mentioned. We got Donkey Kong Classics, another game I used to own as as a kid on the NES. My goal is to own every single NES game I had as a kid. The rule was in my house that if we're gonna if we were gonna get a new console, we we were to sell the old console. So when me and my brother wanted to get the PS1, we had to sell the cons the NES and all the games that we had. Um, to to, uh, to get the PS1. So my goal is to try to get all the NES games I had as a kid and I'm getting pretty close. We used to have a big long box full of them. My mom had actually came back to our house with a box full of games that was getting liquidated from a movie rental store. That was an exciting day for me and Sly. We got Double Dragon 2. Anybody remember the Double Dragon movie? We got Double, D Double Dragon 3. I'm missing Double Dragon the first one. Double Dribble. Game we had when we were kids. This is a pretty fun uh, basketball game, actually. Yeah, Dragon Warrior. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. We, uh, I bought a couple of uh, NES games at a pawn at my local pawn shop, and the, the guy at the pawn shop was like, "Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna take this too, please? I'll throw it in with the rest of the stuff because they had so many copies of this." Doctor Mario bought this off of a friend. Thank you, Dave. We got DuckTales, classic, we gotta have this, and we have Excite Bike. Next up we have Faxanadu, and we have Final Fantasy. I haven't played this yet, I really want to play this. Um, I think once I'm done with uh, the collection of mana, I'm gonna jump into Final Fantasy on the NES. Friday 13th, hard. Ghostbusters, bad. Ghosts and Goblins, hard. Got Godzilla, got Guardian Legends, another game that was mentioned in Metal Jesus video. I did play this. Um, I did I did enjoy this quite a bit as well. It's kind of like Blaster Master, where like there's more than one way of playing the game. Got Jackal. This is a pretty fun game. Jazz. It's okay. Got Karnov. Haven't played Karnov yet. Kickle Cubicle. Another copy where it the copy I have doesn't seem to want to work. So I need to buy something to clean these out. We got Kirby's Adventure because it's a beautiful freaking game and I think it came really late in the NES's life cycle. So it's like it ta it's taking absolute full advantage of the uh, of the console and it's it's a beautiful looking game. Crazy Creatures. I think I probably overpaid this a little bit. Life Force Eater. Another game I used to own as a kid, Little Nemo's Dream Master. I enjoy this a lot as a kid, never got really too far though. Yeah, Adventures of Lalo, another game I used to own as a kid, and a game that I still love to play uh, up to this day. This is, uh, I love the Lalo games, man. I only own one though. Maniac Mansion, I tried playing this after I bought it and I got stuck. I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna definitely try to get back into it though. Marble Madness. Marvel Madness. This is a weird one. I didn't grow up playing this, but it's one of my favorite NES games, which is weird for me to say. Usually my favorite NES games are the games I have the most nostalgia for. Got no nostalgia for this game, but it's still one of my favorite games. Uh, it's a very quick game to beat, which is why I had started speedrunning this game. And uh, I think I'm like, I wanna say 57th, I think at one point I was 56 best in the world. Now I'm probably 58 or 60. It's been it's been a while, but uh, yeah, I got my name in the speed run in the speed running books of this game. Pretty obsessed. We got Mega Man 2, another game we saw as a kid. It's the only Mega Man game we own. We owned, and you know what? If if I if I only have one Mega Man game, this would be it. Mega Man 3, and then we got Metal Gear. So this is one of the first NES games when I started getting really into collecting video games. Um, when I got to NES, this was one of the first ones I bought. And I paid $8 for this, I remember. Not a bad deal. 
Snake's Revenge, a bit harder to find in my opinion than Metal Gear, usually more expensive as well. I only paid $12 for this, so that's not too bad. Next up, the latest NES game that I bought, Metroid. Not a rare game by any means, but a game that I I personally have not been able to find for a very long time. This is this was on my list for a long, long, long time. And I mean, I could have bought it online, but I didn't want to. With the older NES games, I like finding them out in the wild. We got Nightshade, another game that was mentioned in the Metal Jesus NES Hidden Gems video. And uh, this is a hilarious game. I got to pl I played this one and it's, it's a lot of fun. Technically, every game that you buy, you should play. But I'm at the point where I'm buying more games and I'm playing them and it's... Uh, I feel bad. Ninja Gaiden. This game we used to rent a lot. We didn't own it as kids, but we used to rent it a lot. And I used to watch my brother play it a lot because he would never give me the controller. We got Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh my god, look at that. $2.99 in the back here. How much did I pay? 20 bucks. Then we got Nobunaga's Ambition. Nobunaga's Ambition 2 is like, I want to say it's like over $300. We got Rainbow Island. I bought this one with Metroid. Uh, had to get, had to pick this up when I saw it. I've only ever seen it twice, and the second time I bought it. We got RBI Baseball, apparently a really good baseball game uh, on the NES. There's so many, so many baseball games on the NES. We got RC Pro Am, uh, not a game that we used to own as kids, but my cousins used to own and we used to play. We used to play this game all the time. This is a really, really good NES game for anybody uh, who wants to start collecting. And next up we have Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Uh, I freaked the hell out when I saw this because I thought this was uh, Chippendale Res Rescue Rangers 2 selling for $20. It was like... Then we have Rescue the Embassy Mission. Oh man, I was so excited when I saw this in store. River City Ransom, an awesome beat-em-up game. I don't think I've seen it since I bought this copy. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. We got Shadowgate, a pretty uh, well-known point-and-click game on the NES. Ooh, the cream of the crop. This is my most valuable game. It's not necessarily a, a rare or even a hard game to get on the NES, but still, that's Shatterhand. Such a fun game. Such a fun game. I remember testing it as soon as I bought it at my brother's place because he also has an NES and uh, I couldn't get off of it. Snake Rattle and Roll. You'll see this one pretty much everywhere. From what I hear, it's a lot of fun, so I haven't played it yet. Then we got Solstice. What's the rest of it? The quest for the staff of Damios. Damios, yeah, that's, that's the one. We got Star Tropics. Uh, me and my brother, we never grew up playing The Legend of Zelda. We never had any of the Legend of Zelda games. We didn't even know if it existed at the time, really. To be honest, our Legend of Zelda was Star Tropics, and we enjoy the shit out of this game. Another game that I used that we used to have as kids, and honestly, every single kid used to have this game when they were kids, if they had an NES, and that's Mario and Duck Hunt. I don't have Mario 2 or 3 on the NES, and that's because I have Mario All-Stars on the on the SNES, so I never bothered buying the NES ones. I do think I do think I want to get them now though. <laughs> I, I kind of want to get them back. Super Spike V-Ball, it's a volleyball game. Tecmo Baseball, it's another baseball game. This one not as good as RBI uh, from, what I'm re from what I read online. But Tecmo Wrestling, not a game that we used to have kids as kids, but we used to, our, our neighbor used to have this game and we used to play uh, at her place and this was a really fun addicting game. And then we have Tube. It's a game about tubing while you're drinking a beer and you're avoiding rocks and shit as you're going down this river. I had to buy this. We got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, a game we used to have as kids. Never got far, still a lot of fun. My favorite character has always been Donatello, so I was so my bias was working for my benefit in this game. Then we got Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. Haven't tried this one out yet. Tetris, you gotta have Tetris. I don't have Tetris 2 yet, that's on my hit list to buy. The Legend of Cage. Just kidding. It's the Legend of Kage. Will you just say? Will you say it right? For the love of God, say it right. Legend of Kage. I played a lot of this. Surprisingly, it's not that great of a game, but it's kind of addicting. And we got Legend of Zelda. Not the uh, gold cart. 
just the regular gray cart edition. I think it's called like Classics Edition or something like that. Uh, I haven't played this yet. I have played The Adventures of Link because I bought this one first. And from what I played, I was not a big fan of it. I know it's uh, definitely a controversial game within the Legend of Zelda franchise. Some fans love it, some fans hate it. Tiny Toon, a game we used to have a kid as kids, and it's an awesome platformer. You get to play as different characters, and uh, the music is kind of annoying. The sound effects are kind of annoying, but uh, the platforming is really, is really good. And then we got Willow, which I think is based off of a show or a movie or something like that. I don't know. I've never... I've never watched it, so. Wizards and Warriors. Gotta have Wizards and Warriors. And then we have Wizards and Warriors 2, Iron Sword with uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Model here, I forget his name. The very first NES game I bought when I started seriously collecting, and that is Wolverine. I thought it looked really cool, and I bought it, and I played it, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's not an easy game, but it's not a, not a bad game. And then we have Zexies, uh, a game that I had only ever seen at the time in Alberta, and I bought it in Alberta, but since then I've seen a copy of this uh, fairly frequently, which is weird because I had never seen a copy of Zexies before. And last but not least, we have Yoshi, Yoshi, a very cheap, cheap game. Find this for like five dollars. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I think the next video I'm going to do now is my PS4 collection, but we'll see. Anyways, until next time.